What if we could use sound to prevent an injury? Physicians already use sound to diagnose a healthy heart and clear lungs. Students at Grove City College wanted to find out if they could use sound to diagnose healthy legs and feet. Normal walking or running produces a rhythmic sound that is noticeably disrupted when a person is injured. Grove City students are recording the sounds of footsteps with different gait patterns and then using computers to identify the sound patterns associated with fatigued legs or abnormal gait. We used high-speed video and pressure sensors to connect sound signals to foot motion as a person walks or runs. Our goal is to train a computer to recognize specific sounds that indicate a problem with biomechanics just by recording the footsteps of the sounds on a treadmill. To reach this goal, students in engineering, computer science, and exercise science are working together with the GCC faculty across four academic departments. The project requires developing new sensor systems, new signaling processing, and conducting laboratory tests on each new idea. This project has been a great hands-on experience. We get to do and learn things outside of what we normally study. I didn't know anything about biomechanics when we started, but now I'm recording lateral forces on a system that we designed and built ourselves. My task was to improve the fidelity of the acoustic recording. I tested all kinds of mathematical filters and acoustic dampers. I eventually found a special type of microphone that made a huge improvement. It was really frustrating uh, trying ideas that didn't work, but it felt really good to make a meaningful contribution to the team. These students and their GCC faculty are understanding the link between footsteps, sounds, and health. If you are a high school student interested in engineering, science, or computers, you can be part of projects like this at Grove City College.